Hello everyone, this is Neil reporting for Eurovoa live from Liverpool at the Eurovision Song Contest 2023 and I am joined now by Tural Turan X from Azerbaijan. Hello everyone. Hi. Hello. And Herr Wachten is Geir. Oh, <laughs> you know some words. Herr Wachten Geir. Ne Jensen is? Yaxxi. Well, wow, your, your accent is uh, so good, I mean. Oh, wow. thank, thank you. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. So, how are you finding Liverpool so far? We're it's finding amazing. Liverpool so great. And also, we're actually, I'm so happy to see the people so happy. And, you know, I when I look at the people in here, uh, that that's Generally. the, that's the, that's the, uh, yeah. Uh, most thing that uh, really, really uh, yeah, they're so positive. They're so inspiring positive. me, or so you know, like yeah. When I see the people, like everyone is like smiling and chill, and I don't know, I love love the this place's people. Yeah, yeah. it's good I for the contest as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah, big, uh, shout out to the people of Liverpool as well. Um, we love you, and also going. If we go back in time to the moment when you found out that you would be representing Azerbaijan at yes. Eurovision, where were you, and do you remember what your feelings were at that time? Uh, we were, we were just, you know, uh, you mean the before Eurovision, like, um, yeah. uh, before it was, I, I was feeling down actually. I was not feeling well, but when I selected to Eurovision, I just become. Good! <laughs> so good! <laughs> yeah, it felt amazing! <laughs> and then the, so the song as well, you mentioned that you um, wrote it um, a year ago yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. And how did that song come about? Come like, what, what was the first part of the song and how did you create the rest yeah, of the song? First of all, I had this rejection from a girl. Uh, yeah, it always it, happens. It happens, like this. Yeah. It's, it's it happens like to the this. best of us. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Mm, you know, I was this feeling so low. I was feeling so depressed and stuff. I just go back my home and I started to write this lyrics from out of nowhere. And then all of a sudden, Troll just came and say, "Oh, I'm doing some melody. Do you want to see it?" And I was like, "Okay." And then, like at the same time, at we the were same time, we were composing a song. uh, songs, and we just merged that together. And after, I think that we finished the, all of the things completely uh, four months ago. Yeah. And the feeling, if you want to know, that it's just this, you know, a guy who's in like in the low state of his life, it means me, and uh, trying to, you know, get away from everything and trying to, you know, be good and do good. And it's about love, actually. It's about love, you know, the people who are getting... They, they want attention, they want love and stuff, but they don't, they get none. And, and we just wanted to show that there is, like, the love that we can share. And that's the message of our song, too. And when you're, obviously, as twins as well, you know each other very, very well. Yeah. And when you're writing songs, does it... Does it ever happen that someone is like, I want to do this, and then the other person's like, no? no. Or is it very much like, yeah, it happens. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Yeah. It happens all the time. It happens so with everyone, everyone you know. I mean. uh, with, the, with my brother, it's so com comfortable to do it, uh, manage it, because, because well, you know, I can share everything with him, so I can we, tell we, everything we, to him. I'm but not getting offensive or something, you know? Like, yeah. That's good. Just you know, sometimes, like, there is this chord in there, and, like, you know, you're saying that's, oh, that's not fit in there. You say, it's stupid, and you can just say that, you know? And then this is also your very first gig together as, yeah. as a duo yeah. and have you thought about what comes next after Eurovision are you planning to release more songs or are yeah, you yeah, creating yeah. songs yeah. yeah 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 of course we got an, um, songs we got songs but we haven't uh, done released them it. yet yeah. like we're gonna go to Baku and uh, gonna uh, arrange them and uh, try you know release them compose it yeah and we have our release. songs in the background we're working on it actually, yeah. uh, on a hotel sometimes, and uh, we're going to release an album after this. Nice, and we can't wait for the album yeah. as well. So, 
about your Eurovision performance as well. What can people expect from your performance? What can people? I mean, they have. I think they see the saw the uh, uh, the video video yeah. of the to, to, there's the twenty seconds of every country, yeah. and uh, the p feedback is so positive. And I loved it. In the like a comment section and stuff, I looked at it, and like there was this uh, people just talking about uh, uh, how we look and stuff. They they love the look, and I really appreciate them. And then a final question as well. Um, yeah. Your music is very inspired by um, the '60s and especially by the Beatles, and right. you're in the home city of yeah. the Beatles yeah. as well. So. How does that feel? Oh to my be? gosh, we did in a tour. Uh, to, we did go to Paul McCartney's yeah. house, also John, the John Lennon's, Lennon's house. house, the Penny Lane Street, which, which they have this song called Penny Lane, and we did see all of the things yeah, that we, that song's talking about. And you know, you see the you see the lives, like man. Like things. how they met and how yeah. did they, um, you know, gather together and stuff. Now you see, you go to the John Lennon's house and you see uh, the door and he's just coming from there and every morning and he lost his mother in the street uh, that front of his door uh, and it's just amazing you're just going to their life and yeah, you just you, yeah, you going feel to, it going to past them and when you look at the house it's like you're thinking the past it's yeah like yeah this. but for me as a, like the mu mu musical part if you're asking there. We know all of, uh, a lot of their songs, lots of their songs, but I don't know, like it's it just comes so natural for us, like we know those songs, but we yeah. never thought about like did they really inspire us or I don't know, man. I really yeah. don't know. <laughs> well, but what we do know is that we're all very excited to see yeah. you perform in the first semi-final on the 9th of May. So, thank you very much for talking to me today. Thank you. And remember to follow us on all of our social media and click that notification bell so you don't yeah. miss any of our videos from Liverpool as well. But until next time, bye-bye. Bye-bye.